Hey guys, I want to talk about chickens today. Now we have had a really, really good successful couple weeks with our chickens. So we hatch them every single week. So every Friday I put eggs in and every Tuesday I put new eggs in the hatcher we bought for Matt Payne and that is called a GQF 1550. That's the one that you'll see that I get the chicks out of whenever I post videos about them. Now these little chicks right here, this little yellow one is a salmon faverol and this little black one is a black cop moran. The reason I have these varieties are rainbow egg baskets. Now what is that? It's exactly what I said. It's all the colors of the eggs, just like the rainbow inside your basket. So this cute little yellow one, if it's a girl, it'll grow up to lay pink eggs. This little black one, if it's a girl, it will grow up to lay dark chocolate eggs. Now, this cute little white one here is called a silky. Silkies are ornamental. They don't lay very well, but they are the puppy dog of the chicken world. They will lay a really, really cute white to off-white egg. Yes, you're so cute. These chicks are from the chickens that have been tried and true this winter and that keep laying for us. It might just be one or two a day, but at least we have chicks in the incubator and we are sharing with all our local people that are ready to start spring chickens. <laughs> so generally whenever the chickens hatch I do post that they're available for sale and to go to the new homes my hopes with our business is to sell the babies when they're one to two days old so they can go home with their new family and get to know them get friendly and become <laughs> become their little sweetie pies and in, in their brooder in their house but Whenever that doesn't happen, what do I do with them? So I'm gonna take you along today and I'm gonna show you what I do with the babies, how I get them out into the barn, in their brooder, make them comfortable until they go to their new homes. First, I get a really large basket and I put something in the bottom. I generally use these nets. I put them in the bottom so they don't slip. So on their walk out to the barn, they will not slip and they'll have some traction on their feet. And these are just lingerie bags that I use whenever I separate out eggs. When I gather them here from the hatcher, I place them in here. Yeah. Oops, somebody has a poo poo. Okay, let's get the rest of them. This is my Faverol and my Black Coffin Rams.
my silkies and my cream leg bars. I've already sold almost all of them, so I've already removed them, but there's still just a couple left in there. Just one, actually. One little crusted cream leg bar. Put her in there. Now, all these chicks are very different colored, so we can tell them apart. And that's when this next tray comes into play. I do have to do something different for this next tray. Those are all of our olive eggers, and they look very, very, very close to black copper morans. Actually gonna turn that off now. Now, as you can see in here, they are almost the same exact looking as the black copper morans. So we can never ever mistakenly put them in the same brooder because that just wouldn't be right. So this is the way that I keep them separate until we take them outside. Put them back in the laundry bag. That way they can breathe, they can move around and they will be fine. Until we get out there. And there's always a lot of olive eggers because I have a lot of girls in that pen. And look at this little baby. He's got a little, a little egg stuck to his booty. We'll take care of that when we get out there, Bubba. You know what? I still have some hatching in here. We've got a little late hatcher. So we will put this back in and let them finish hatching out. Now I'm gonna take all of these babies. I'm gonna move these ones over. And we are gonna give them their own space in here so they are completely separate. Make sure that zipper is zipped perfectly. And it is. All right. Let's get these babies into their brooder out in the barn and under some heat and get them some water and food. We are really lucky that it is in the 70s today and it's okay for them to be out for just a very short time between the house and the barn, which the barn is right there. But on those cold days, I generally seal them up in smaller quantities and I put them in a lingerie basket and I put them underneath my coat. Jeremy clean up the barn, got everything kind of back to normal in here after all that severe weather. So let's go over here and show them where they're going to live and get them set up just like all these babies are here. Get them set up and leave them. This pen right here is Black Hawk Moran's. They're about five or six days old. I'm gonna put the babies in there. They should be fine together. They're very close and similar in size. So let's get them in here. Okay, let's get some of the Black Hawk Moran's. Now it is time to grab all those olive eggers and put them in their own pen. 
I'm just gonna pick up this bag with the babies in it. We are going to take them like this and we're gonna bring them right over here and we're gonna put them in their new pen. All right, last but not least is gonna be all of these Favorols and the two little silkies and the cream leg bar. So these ones have issues with their feet. See, they are five toes. They have issues with their feet getting caught in our brooder flooring. I have an extra piece of hardware cloth and a bag in there for them so their feet don't get caught. And in about two to three days, I can remove it because their feet get bigger and they get bigger and then there's no issue at all. So just a little precaution for them. You ready? Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I had Fabrols in here yesterday and they all sold, so they are going right back where they were. Come on, guys. I have a couple of you. Now that is a chicken sandwich, you guys. A nice one-hander. Now we're gonna grab these silkies and that last cover all there. So this is the process that I go through every single week. The next thing I do is I get on Facebook, TikTok, Instagram, and I post videos and pictures of the chicks. I also get on Craigslist, and we try to help them find their new homes and start their new farm life on somebody else's farm. 
So this is what my hatchery is like. I know it looks simple and easy right now, but this does not include feeding and watering every day and cleaning up all the poop and moving this one around and wing banding that one and coordinating meeting people at different times up and down the gravel road. So there's a lot more to it. The most enjoyable parts are bringing them to meet their new family, putting the babies in the brooder and collecting eggs. Those are my favorite. I wanted to show you, these are our salmon favorable eggs that are kind of on the pink side. And that is, this is the baby chick that comes out of it. Say hi to everybody. These are the black copper marine eggs. They have really stopped laying a lot since the weather, but they are starting to pick back up. And this is the cute baby that comes out of those eggs. And then here is one of the olive eggers. It's kind of dirty because it's been muddy out. It's a green egg, that's just one of them. And then these are the babies that come out of the green eggs. These babies are back cross one. Olive eggers. This is a crested cream leg bar egg. It's a very, very light blue. And this is a female that comes out of that egg. so much for watching today. I hope you enjoyed seeing our brand new one day old baby chicks in the process that me and Jeremy follow every single week. If you haven't already, leave us a comment. Tell us what you think. Tell us which chicken is your absolute favorite. Go ahead and like us and subscribe if you like and catch up on some of our old videos. That is really helpful to us as a channel and we will see you next time. Have a good day. Bye-bye.